Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. This is the eighth in a series of videos on the topic, the spiritual powers of omniscience, omnipresence, and omnipotence on earth today. Things to look out for by Alice B. Claggett. This, the eighth in the series, is entitled Subconscious Selection of Spiritual Group members by the leader based on his own soul wounding. This is a set of conclusions to do with the discussion in the seventh video. Um, conclusions about uh, subconscious selection by a group leader of who he really wanted to be in his group based on his own soul wounding. And it goes like this. One might posit a spiritual group leader's subconscious selection of group members based on his own soul wounding. The spiritual leader who has had an early childhood cannibal experience might subconsciously select group members who have had a cannibal experience. If the leader has been a black widower, quote unquote, then he might subconsciously select group members who have been black widowers or black widows. If he has killed his parents or other senior citizens, then he might subconsciously select group members with similar life experience. If he has had the life experience of frequenting or being a sex worker, then he might subconsciously select group members who frequent or are sex workers. So in addition to that, I would say that just positing that such, a, such an, a trying circumstance could exist in real life is supposing that their spiritual group exhibited all these things. Cannibalism, black widower, black widow, euthanasia of senior citizens or of one's parents, um, frequenting our sex workers or being sex, work sex workers and so forth. All of those things, the whole shebang. And then somebody left and they thought, oh, maybe they've caught on to us. They might go to local law enforcement and say, we know someone who's done all these things. That person has, has, has been a cannibal. That person is a black widow or a black widow. That person killed his or her parents or has been out killing senior citizens. That person is a sex worker or is a person of low morals who frequents sex workers. And we think that you should do something about it. Everybody in the whole group goes. Now let's say Law enforcement doesn't really know who the members of the group are. Law, law enforcement just knows that there are a number of people that are of good standing in the community as far as they know, and they're all saying that, that this person, say me or some other person fleeing from a cult that kills, that this person is a very bad person, and they all agree. You know? And so far as the law knows, these are very good upstanding people. What is the law to do? How is law enforcement to know, and I, I assume that they have this problem all the time, when two people disagree, or a number of people, especially in this instance, a number of people accuse one scapegoat, how are they to know if it's true or not true? Well, one way to do that would be to look, look at the past um, snitching history of the people in question. Has this occurred on a number of other occasions? You know, if it has, then it might be good to look with a certain amount of doubt at the testimony of these people now. You know what I mean? Or if it's come to light that they have committed certain crimes, say in other states and so forth, then there would be another reason to be concerned, don't you know? But for anyone, anyone faced with such a, a, a problem, the social standing of the accusing people is pretty important. And I have found that 
the people I think are sociopaths or antisocial personalities because of my clairvoyance, my clairaudience. When I suspect that, I will find that they lead on the surface of it lives that are incapable of being um, disagreed with, that look real fine. They might look like yuppies. They might have created PhDs and MDs and all kinds of false authority as a front for their true nature. Their social mask might be completely impervious. That is what law enforcement faces every day to determine the good from the bad, the, the upstanding citizen from the criminal and so forth. I feel that they have much better sense about these things than people like I do. I wish them the very best and I hope that um, my blog section, um, Law Enforcement, on, on the blog Awakening with Planet Earth, https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com might be of help to them in their day-to-day -day routine. There are a couple of other sections they might like to do with antisocial personalities. And if there are um, law enforcement psychologists and psychiatrists, they might be interested in the psychology, psychiatry section uh, of the website. And I have this in conclusion on, the, on this particular video. May God bless you with love and light and keep you safe through these troubled times. Goodbye for now.